Baking new memories with Nika DeGraw. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's very special edition of Baking New Memories Brunch Live. So I actually want to start out with the mimosa. And, you know, if you're late coming in, I hope that you already have your mimosa with you. I want you to do something a little bit different today. It's funny being on the live. I feel like I'm doing a video, you know? Yeah. I can't stop it and go back if I have to. Um, so I want you to do the mimosa a little different, not just like, you know, your regular... Uh, orange juice and champagne. So there was a time that Michael and I had gone out for brunch and there were all these different juices mixed into the mimosa. There was fruit in it. Um, we're doing strawberries, pancakes, and sour cream today. I know that sounds kind of odd. My dad is so excited. I know this all looks very different to you. This is not my um, usual kitchen that I'm in. I'm with my family today and I'm making a very awesome traditional family brunch for them. This recipe actually was my grandma Mary's, uh, my dad's mom. So I'm going to show you how to make that, but first I'm going to show you this drink. So like I said, we're not doing the um, traditional just orange juice and champagne, but we are going to use those ingredients as well. Is this shot good? Can you see everything? Mm -hmm. I'll right here. So I did uh, do a couple of these just by the glass already, just to see how it tastes, because I made this up. It's a very, it's a little bit reminiscent of my favorite drink, that vodka sorbet. I wanted something that would cut the sweetness of the pancakes and the strawberries. So we've got a lot of fresh flavors going on here. There's lime, orange, lemon. Okay, so we're gonna start with our, our champagne. I just, I like brut or extra dry. Um, you can totally use Prosecco. However you guys enjoy, uh, your champagne, some people like it sweeter. I know my sister loves it, uh, loves Prosecco. She loves it sweet. I'm the opposite. I like to have a little bit of um, sweetness go in, but not overly sweet. I'm not a big sugar person. So let's see if we can fit all of our champagne in here. So here's gonna be one of our little twists with our, with our mimosa. I am adding vodka, okay. Can you tell the size of this bottle, the way that I'm holding it? When I asked Gavin if he had some vodka, and he said, oh, just look in the you know, cabinet next to the dishwasher, he said, it's a big bottle. I didn't expect it to be as tall as me. Here we are. It's a really good vodka, by the way. You can't even taste it. It's the dangerous kind. So I did one shot in our um, individual cups. I'm gonna do two in here. There's a lot of ice in here, so I think, ah, hey, listen, a little bit of an overpour. Not the worst thing that could happen. Um, I think about two shots of vodka. This is kind of a small uh, container here. I think this container came from upstate uh, New York, where we, where we live, where we grew up. I, I feel like I recognize it from my childhood. Okay, the next thing I'm doing, I want that I told you, uh, you know, a very sort of fresh approach to this today. I am gonna add some orange juice, but that's not gonna be our only juice ingredient. So here we go with the orange juice, just really just a splash. We wanna get it orange, give it that sort of traditional um, look color-wise, but then I found this in Kroger yesterday. I actually was looking up recipes for mimosas so I could do something a little bit different. And they showed like sherbet and it, it was lime and it looked amazing, but it was very similar to the other drinks. So I said, let's just get a little bit of like lemon juice or something like that. I'm excited about the limeade. By the way, everyone who knows about uh, Jorge and how involved he's been in a lot of my videos, he's from Venezuela. He always says, does anybody have limeade? And I think, I don't even know what that means. In Venezuela, it's not lemonade, it's limeade. So I gotta show him this. So I'm gonna pour just a touch in here. I don't have exact measurements for this. This is gonna be to taste, and I have news for you. It's gonna taste amazing, no matter what. You can't mess this up. Just go ahead and pour. All right, here comes our fresh ingredients. I do like the um, fresh, squeeze of lemon in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my, isn't this handy dandy? I found this in the kitchen here and I want one. I don't know where it came from, but I love it. Good little handheld juicer right there. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and get our, our lemon juice in there. And I decided for the big pitcher, I'm gonna also add the fresh lime juice going in. You know what, if a pit goes in, so a pit goes in. You know, we're not running a restaurant over here. This is for home, this is for brunch. If you have to spit out a pit, you're gonna be okay. Sometimes you might swallow one, it'll still be okay. All right, I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. Let me grab one of these here. Let me do this. Get in there and just sort of give it a little mix. Now, I am going to drop my uh, orange slice in there. I think I'm gonna just squeeze a little bit in there too. A little bit of fresh orange. I'm just gonna drop my slice in there. A little more of that, drop my slice in there because this is a nice presentation. Look how gorgeous that is. I definitely wanna drink that. Let me show you what it's gonna be like in the glass and, and what I kind of thought was a great idea. So, I'm gonna pour me a glass. Look how pretty that is. It's okay if the pieces go in, if the ice goes in. I love it with the ice. Let's stop right there. There's probably about three um, cups worth in here. I'm gonna take my handy dandy little lime and rub it around the rim and drop it in. And of course, Frank. I love it so much, it's so fresh. You really get not overly sweet at all, but I think if you add, if you're a sweet person and you add Prosecco, it'll be perfect for you. It's perfectly sweet to me. So this is gonna go great with the recipe that we're making today. And I didn't make this in advance like I normally do. So, so like I told you, this is pancakes, strawberries, and sour cream. Now I've told that to people in the past and they say, don't you mean whipped cream? And I say, no, I mean sour cream. So my grandma Mary, this was her specialty. We would always get so excited about it when it was time to have this particular dish. And in all my years, I have always made this for my children. It's one of their favorites. As a matter of fact, they're here today um, wanting to have this. They did not have to twist their arm. So let's just show the strawberries real quick. So traditionally, my Grandma Mary would get the frozen strawberries in juice. Um, I don't particularly like the frozen strawberries in the bag necessarily because there's not a lot of juice in it but I have had to use that in the past, and that's okay. If that's what you have, it's still gonna be amazing, and you might just wanna add a little bit of syrup or um, thaw them out and let them sit and let the, the juices really um, come out of them. Maybe add a little bit of sugar. So what I did last night, uh, Michael and I went and got two two-pound tubs of strawberries, fresh strawberries, cut them up, threw them in the bowl. I poured sugar on top of them. Again, this is to taste. I did not like, you know, measure out my sugar. Just pour sugar on top, stir it up a little bit, leave it overnight. I put some uh, saran wrap, left it overnight, and I woke up to this with all the juices flowing, which is what you want for this particular dish. You want to see those juices like that. So we're gonna set that aside for later, and we're gonna start making our pancakes. So I'm not uh, like a pancake making expert, but I did want to um, do the ones today. Uh, you can buy, uh, I, listen, this is what I use at home. I buy pancake mix, you only have to use water. It's so simple. Uh, this is a special one today. Um, my brothers will be eating, my children are here. Jan is here, my dad and I wanted to make them a little bit more special. So there's gonna be eggs and milk involved in these. Do you want to hear some of the comments? Yeah, talk to me. Um, with the drinks, uh, Jesse said looks amazing. By the way, and thank you, and it mm -hmm. is amazing. Uh, just before you go on with the comments, you are just going to make uh, these pancakes. You're going to go with the recipe that's on the box, okay? Simple as that. Nothing special happening here. Jesse said looks amazing. Patty says perfection. Aww. Cheers. Salute. Heather says sounds delicious. And then Joni um, with the pancake said, vanilla sugar makes it extra special. Girl, Joni, first of all, you're gonna need to come visit me and cook one day. Mm -hmm. I, I know all about your baking and you know all of those beautiful things you, you put up in those macarons, oh my gosh. And you said that your granddaughter didn't like those. You can send them my way any day. But it is interesting uh, that you bring up the vanilla 
because I wanted to make this a little bit special today and I thought the same thing. I'm going to add vanilla to this today. And my dad said, not to mine. But, wink, wink, there won't be any in his. Funny thing, though, when I brought the, the box home, I looked on the back of it just to see how many pancakes this makes. Look, one teaspoon vanilla extract, if desired. Um, I say desired. Okay, so I'm doubling the recipe because we have so many, uh, so many people eating with us today, okay? And don't forget, we have sausage too, Jan, to show them at the end. We, mm -hmm. we made maple sausage, delicious. So I'm about to crack a few eggs in here, actually four eggs is what this calls for. Um, so the other day, you know, like I said, I'm in Nashville. Uh, my father and my brothers were all on the same floor in, in this building that uh, they live in. So we're sharing food and, you know, Joe is cooking sometimes, I'm cooking sometimes. And, and if we need something, we're like, do you have this, do you have that? All we have to do is go down the hall. Well, I needed eggs. And so I went into Gavin's fridge and I saw this. I said, first of all, I want to keep the box, right? Because it's so pretty. And I'm like, these are like some kind of Woodstock hippie eggs. They have to be good. So when I cracked it open, I was really surprised. First of all, look what this says. Um, made with fresh air and sunshine, freedom to forage outdoors year round, ethical eggs, happy hens, uh, on green grass, under open skies. You can tell when you crack this egg that these are some happy, happy chickens because look at the color of that yolk. That's what a farm fresh egg looks like right there. And, you know, I think I've said this in the past, I'm a big believer in farm fresh. Uh, Michael has said to me, you know, an egg's an egg, blah, blah, blah. But when you uh, crack an egg from, you know, just your, your regular white carton and your white egg, you know how long it might've been sitting in the fridge? Usually they're pretty light yellow. Kimberly says she has the same eggs. Are they not the best? I mean, they're literally the best. And once I, listen, but they're not cheap, but this is a special occasion. So I said, let's use these eggs, right? Actually, it wasn't for Gavin, and then I just went and stole them back out of his fridge. Oh. But still, special occasion, so I wanted to use these eggs. Look how gorgeous that is. I love those yolks. Um, I'm gonna just rinse my hands real quick while you guys take a peek at that. How beautiful that is. Grab my drink. My drink needs to be a part of this. Funny thing, when I bought this, all I saw was the mix and the milk. And this morning I saw the eggs and I said, okay, this is a little more complicated than I expected it to be. So I'm gonna grab the milk, we're gonna put in two cups. Remember that we are doubling this recipe. I've got my two iron skillets sitting here waiting for, for the pancakes. So I asked uh, my brother Joey this morning if he had a griddle, I thought it would be easier because we're feeding so many people. And he said, I don't, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. So he ran, I'm just grabbing a measuring cup, guys. Let's see, this is one cup, so we'll do two of these. Uh, he ran down the hall and he came back with these uh, huge iron skillets uh, to, to cook these pancakes in. What I did was I coated them very, very lightly with a little olive oil. I do like to use olive oil as a coat, but this is completely up to you. You can use butter, you can use Pam, you can use Crisco, you can use whatever you want, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly like what I'm doing. Add your, add your twist, add your stuff. You know, I'm a big believer in that. All right, here goes our vanilla. I don't know, this feels empty. Oh, <laughs> it's not empty. So let's see, they're saying a teaspoon. So, you know, we're gonna do two because we doubled. This is gonna be amazing. So this is uh, pure Madagascar vanilla. Looks like it was bought in, in Publix possibly. Simply organic, I think so. Or Whole Foods, one or the other. My brother's a big fan of Whole Foods and it's close by here where they live. All right, and here we go, just with a whisk. We're gonna mix, mix, mix. So here's the thing about, um, about pancake mix. Once you uh, get all your ingredients together and you stir them all up, and listen, I learned this from my sister Jessica, by the way. She is a professional pancake maker because um, her, I call him her husband, Danny. They've been dating for so many years, may as well call him, call him husband just to 
uh, not have to tell the whole story about it. They've been together a long time. He loves pancakes. When they came to visit me, I said to Jessica, and he's a little bit picky, so I said, what does, uh, what will Danny want for breakfast? Pancakes. So I said, okay, I can whip together some pancakes, the ones that I just put the water in that I already told you about. So I did that, and I put the mix together, and I went to put it in the pan, and she goes, not yet. I said, why not? It's not ready. Okay, so it needs to sit here and thicken up a little bit. Yeah, Patty said olive oil is the best seasoning for iron skillets and let the batter sit for a bit. See, thank you. And I did learn that and absolutely mm -hmm. right. So once the batter, you know, I also don't want to over mix, okay? So if you want to take a look at the batter, it's nice and, and airy and bubbly. We want it to sit like that, let it be that way. So while it's sitting, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the sour cream mixture. I already showed you how to do the strawberries, fresh strawberries with sugar, let them sit overnight. You can get the frozen, like I said. The sour cream mixture does need to have sugar in it, okay? Um, when I first started making this again, uh, after, oh God, so many years of, of not having it, I said, it would be so fun to make this. And I didn't put sugar in the sour cream. And I didn't realize until I went to my grandmother's before she passed. And we talked about it and I saw her make it again when I had brought my kids to visit. And I said, let's do pancakes, strawberry, and sour cream. And she did it and put sugar in the sour cream. I said, oh, that's what was missing. Absolutely delicious. I prefer this over the whipped cream because it's just not, it's just not as sweet but when you add the sugar, it's just sweet enough and it doesn't um, overpower with sweetness. All right, so this is a one and a half pound top. I mean, once again, I'm eyeballing all of this. And I just wanna make sure that we make plenty because um, my whole family absolutely loves every ingredient in this dish. So I'm gonna make sure there's plenty of everything. And the great thing is, you actually can do leftovers of this. I would save your pancakes if you if you made uh, too many. My grandma Mary, I'm telling you, this is one of our one of our favorite things to do as children. The leftovers the next day, she would take strawberry jelly and put it on the pancake and roll it up. Her pancakes were pretty thin. Roll it up and we would eat it like that. It was like a there's a word for it, like a jelly roll. That's what it was like. It was just like a jelly roll. Such a great way to use that leftover. Or you could just reheat the pancakes and do this whole thing again. So simple. All right, look. I said I wasn't going to measure, and I'm not going to. This is brunch. We're having fun. I'm just going to start to pour it in. And I'm actually going to mix, and I'm going to taste. And that's okay to do in your own kitchen. As a matter of fact, it's really okay to do in any kitchen. You see chefs all the time tasting their food. But then, you know, they go and put their spoon in the sink instead of double dipping. No, no double dipping. Especially not during COVID. Right? I just already know that's going to need a little bit more. That wasn't going to be enough. So we'll add a little more, mix it up, and our pancakes are going to be ready to go in. As soon as I just taste this and make sure that I don't have to do anything else. And then I think we'll throw it back in the fridge. Are these for the pancakes? They can be. They're, or are they for the sausage? Yeah. Okay. So um, if you guys haven't figured it out, Jan is manning the camera. Like I said, I'm downtown um, with my dad and my brothers. And I don't have my, there's no room here for my little computer. And I don't have the thing that holds my phone. Everybody's involved in this live today. And I love it. I think it's a perfect day for this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead with our measuring spoon, our, me our measuring cups. These are heavy, by the way. These are like the ones Jan got me that I showed you guys last time. Like a big old cowbell, it's like breakfast is ready. But it's not, but it keeps sounding that way. So here we go. You know, to me, this is a little loose. 
here's so, what happens. So Joni said that you can add vanilla to that. Um, to the sour cream? Yeah. Joni's on a vanilla kick. And the, yeah. And I agree 100%. Hey, does anybody else have mimosas this morning while watching? Marlena is on. She says hi. Hi, Marlena. Oh, I wish you were here to eat this with us. And you could be. So listen, guys, here's the thing. If you feel like your mixture is not thick enough, if it's a little too thin for you, you feel like your pancakes are going to be a little bit too, um, you know, thin and flat, add more flour. Don't be afraid. You want to get to a consistency that you are happy with. All right. By the way, I'm going to let that sit again for a second because I don't want to mess these up. But that being said, this has been my experience with pancakes, um, generally speaking, <laughs> over the years. <laughs> Something's funny over there. Um, oh, Cameron's here too. Cameron and Eden. So in particular with pancakes, I always feel like um, the first batch is kind of like a little test. And then the second one always comes out better. So I don't know if, if you guys feel that way. Let me know if you do, where you make your first batch and it's just kind of like, eh, those look okay. And then the second ones are like, whoa, those are amazing and perfect. While we're waiting for this to thicken up just a little bit as well, I want to thank all of you guys for the donations and for the uh, orders that you put in for Tamara and Charles and the Williams family. First of all, there are no two more grateful people that I know than Tamara and Williams and their uh, Tamara and Charles Williams and their family. They are so full of love, so thankful. Um, they feel beyond blessed, and I want to you know extend a thank you from them to you right now. We have raised enough money at this point to bless them with the Pampered Chef pots and pans which is what I wanted you guys to be Venmoing me for, which is what our contest is for. And we are going to do a drawing here at, at uh, here in a little while, maybe right before one. I think we were about $25 away from the full amount. Um, my cousin Jessica says she's gonna throw that into, into the mix. So, a very special fun contest drawing happening here in just a little while. And I can't wait to tell you what the winner is going to receive. Um, we had a very large order for Tamara just a little while ago. Um, Catherine texted me, said she just about fell out of her chair. Every order counts. We didn't expect anything uh, really more uh, today before or during this live. And we got a, a really amazing order. Somebody really uh, went and blessed the Williams family with a very big order so I can't I'm so excited all of the things that you guys bought all of the money that you donated and they're gonna get their pots and pans and then all of the things that that this anonymous donor I don't even know who it is it doesn't matter you can all be anonymous which you all are are givers and lovers and and that's what I and that's what Tamara mm -hmm. feels so blessed by everybody says awesome and then Angela says, Nika, you should be on TV. You are a natural. Angela, call the TV, call the Food Network. Just kidding. Somebody's coming in. Hello. And it's Joey. So like I was telling you before, my hey. brother is the one that brought, oh, we're on a live, Joey. Do you want to say hi? These are my uh, brother. We're on a live right now. No, I'll probably curse or something. Hmm. That's okay. We curse on Where's the live the, uh, and drink. I gotta grab something out of here. Sure, so these are my brother's pans, like I was telling you. He's grabbing stuff, he's been doing a lot of cooking while we've been down here. All right, our pancakes are in the skillet. So we're just gonna wait and see how this particular batch comes out. Like I said, the first one is never quite as good as the second one, as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna rinse my hand. Anybody have any questions? Did anybody answer, do they have no Everybody's questions? just some people said they had coffee. Everybody's just saying hi, Joey. It's all just filled up with <laughs> oh, hi, Joey. Joey, 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 say hi. <laughs> he said he might curse. Would we care? I feel like we would have before. That would be okay. All right, I'm going and putting my sour cream in the fridge. I like it to be really nice and cold. Um, 
I keep wanting to lick my finger after I touch the batter. You know what? Don't do it. Oh, don't. I'm going to. You know why? Jan's like, don't do it. Because the whole salmonella thing. But those eggs. I want that to taste the vanilla. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. Even with adding um, the extra bisquick that I put in. Totally fine. I love it. And you know what? These look like they're coming up good. Mm. Now, if my sister was here right now, she would be, look, I'd be like, oh, let me check. She'd say, no, don't touch them. And she did that to me before, and she was right. So I'm just going to let them sit here and, and do their thing. What else? Does everybody oh. wish that they were here eating with us today? I really, honestly, would love if you guys all would, um, would make this recipe. This is definitely a DeGraw family recipe. If you would make it, uh, take video, post pictures, all of that. I, I want to see a lot going on about this particular um, brunch and this particular recipe. Tell me what you think. Go ahead, Jen. Kelly said that she can never flip her pancakes. Um, so maybe you can show people a trick about how to do that when you... <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of pressure, Kelly. Um, I can try. So I'm not the greatest flipper in the world. And by the way, last month uh, with the Pampered Chef, it looks like the ones in the big skillet are going to be done here a little bit quicker. Than yeah, these. I can smell yeah. them. So last month uh, with the, all of the Pampered Chef orders, I was so incredibly lucky. I was able to order a, a lot of things that I, that I want to use to show you guys. Where's my flipper? Here it is. Um, and... This month, I am getting a flipper. So Catherine uh, said that the flipper, interesting that they call it a quote unquote flipper. Do you I'm need like, What's that? a flipper? Do you need that? Huh? Do you need that? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, but what it is is a spatula. So I was waiting for that to come, hoping to be able to use it today. But um, my order hasn't come yet, but that is all right. So. I mean, the best way to flip is that they don't stick to the pan, and I'm not having the biggest luck with that at the moment, but that's okay. Should you put more oil in it? I'm going to put more oil in it after I do this. I mean, they're fine. They're coming out fine. Let me just flip this over. And maybe turn that down. Yeah. Oh, Jan. Jan with all the cooking <laughs> advice. Jan said, turn it down. Maybe more oil. <laughs> these still have a minute. So the thing about these burners over here, at my dad's is they're just it's not my house right so I don't know the stove I don't know the know the oven very well I noticed that things cook very strangely in comparison uh, to what I'm used to which is not a big deal it's totally fine and you know what these are a little overcooked on this side they're gonna be amazing nobody's gonna care why because they're covered up first of all because they're full of vanilla second of all because they're covered up with sugar and sour cream and sugared strawberries it's like a strawberry shortcake, really. You know, it's kind of like a, a um, poor man's version of a strawberry shortcake, okay? Just make some <laughs> pancakes dance cracking up. She can't keep herself from laughing. Catherine said the flipper is half the size and will be so much easier to use. It really helps the well, flip. I wish I had it right now. <laughs> Pampered chef, you needed to rush these things to me. You oh, you should talk to people while you're making these about the important number one about the podcast and then also about the importance of having breakfast or family time with your family. Yeah, like. totally. Well, you know, something, first of all, as far as having breakfast and family time with your family, um, it's very hard to do that sometimes with our schedules and just how busy we get. COVID has definitely, uh, to some degree, given us the opportunity to be home. Um, I'm not saying it should go on forever because I'm in 100% agreement that uh, it would be amazing to be able to open up and, you know, kind of get back to life. But if you guys could take the time uh, while we're, you know, going through these, these crazy and different times to connect not only with your family, your children, you know, and also the cooking and the baking of the memories. And that is uh, one reason that I really feel. I'm Maybe you should pause now. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna put this one over here. <laughs> 
Jesse says those I don't look. Like how that one's cooking. Jesse said those look delish, and then Marlena said, "I can vouch for how yummy they are. You made them Christmas 2018." That's correct. And Marlena, when I did that, see, the, look, mm -hmm. that one wasn't even like cooking at all, but that's okay because it will on this burner, and that's what I mean. Mm. Plus, by the way, guys, if you look at this, maybe somebody can help me out with this. This side is dual burner. This side is single burner. Melt? I don't know. I'm lost when it comes to this stove. I feel like you should always do dual with those big pans. Yeah, right? I feel like you're right, and that's what I did with that one. So, you know, this um, particular burner has worked out best for me, and I'm going to keep using it. This is a hard of a batch, but that's okay. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be covered up, and I've been having mimosas, so I don't really care that much. Um, all right, so honestly, though, back to... What was the second question? Uh, the, I keep wanting to call it the Shake My Head podcast, but that's not what it is. You know, it's funny that you say that, and that's why I said to Brad, I love SMH Lab because it's like Shake My Head, but it's also sports, music, and mental health lab, where we're kind of like mixing it up all across the board with all of those things that, that we love, that we know. Um, so Brad Peterson, who I co-host with, is a, a track and field coach he right now he's got an amazing runner i think i talked to you guys about that our last podcast was with um christiana danielle what an incredibly gifted girl if you have not listened to this podcast go to smh lab on facebook and listen to this podcast i fell absolutely in love with her and i i'm very proud to call her a friend of mine see look when i flipped it look how great that came out did you turn the burner down as well? I did. Mm -hmm. But by the way, um, so one more thing, just about the importance of spending time with family and having breakfast together. Like I said, there's not a lot of time for that um, with all of us being busy and just our normal everyday schedules. But even if you get to do it once a month or once every couple of months, make it important. Put it on your list of things to do. Uh, you know, I've been a single mom for many years. I've been a single mom for over 10 years. I'm, put, I'm putting oil in the pan. I love to sing my motions that I'm doing. <laughs> but they're always to the same tune. Jan and I were just having a conversation. Why do we sing everything to the same tune? I keep singing to Gavin's dog. Oh, buddy. Tell them what it's from. from. Jan said that it's from um, Desperado. Oh, buddy. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Come up with all this stupid stuff, and Buddy loves it. He looks at me with those eyes like, I love when you sing to me, Aunt Nika. He loves it so much. All right, so we've got more oil in the pan. Um, do you want to hear some comments? I do. Patty said the podcast is amazing. Yes, thank you. Um, there are a lot of people, Jesse, um, and then... Gosh, um, Susan says that it's inner outer. Like, so Susan said, my dad has that it's the inner and outer rings that light up. And then Jesse said, the rule is the outer and inner. Oh, because I thought you were talking about belly buttons for a second. I'm confused. <laughs> inner, outer. I forgot I asked the question. <laughs> anyway, so guys, this is how you do the pancakes. I'm going to keep on watching them. I want to get to, uh, unless there's any more questions at the moment, because I know my dad's hungry, everybody wants to eat, I want to get to the contest. I want to um, bless somebody right now that, that has given toward our cause. You know my heart and my support of the Williams family. I will continue to do so and keep on passing on their story. Go to NikaDegraw.com to Eden's Garden uh, to see their story. Send people there. Um, Jessica, are you ready uh, to do the contest and announce the winner? Hey, Eden. Where's Eden? Oh, okay. So I wanted to call Tamara while this was happening, while we're picking the winner. Um, you can call her and hold it and talk to her. Oh, I have your phone. phone. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> Jan said I could call her and hold it and talk to her, which is exactly right. And I want to, but Jan has my phone. <laughs> and she don't forgot that. Oh, Jess, Jess said, yes, I am. And she said, tell Eden to call me. Tell Eden to call her. To call her now? Mm -hmm. 
All right, just give me just a couple of minutes because, mm -hmm. oh, I have to show you what's in the oven because we are serving this with breakfast. Jan so graciously, where's my other mitt? Um, made these before we started the pancakes, which by the way, the pancakes are gonna come out amazing. Always have to have the maple sausage links. Those look phenomenal. I can't wait to eat those. Do so we call her? Actually put them on the stove top. Uh, Jessica wants you to call her first. Jessica, Brielle wants you to call her and then we'll call Tamara. Right first. now? Yeah. Okay. Um, always have to have the sausage, sausage links. They're my dad's favorite. I love them. I cannot, and I love when they like caramelize. So we did actually, what? Sorry, she said call her on Facebook. I, call her on Facebook? Hmm? Okay, I don't know. This is Jessica's part Hello. of the brunch today. Announcing the winner. Oh, to be able to see the live spin. All right, let's see. Bring it over here. You come, Eden. Show All right. Me. Show the fun. Should they see this? Can we turn it that way so that everybody I got can it. see? Oh, here we go. Yep, yep. Spin the wheel. Yeah, I'm watching. Oh, that's so cool. It's a virtual spinner. All right. Who is that? Susan DeVito. Susan! Yeah. Can you see that? Yes. All right. All right. Awesome. Susan, thank you so much for donating to Tamara all right, we and got family. It, yeah. So that was our virtual wheel. We went ahead and put all of your names in there. Susan DeVito, here's what she won. You want up to $40 in anything you want from Pampered Chef. So make sure you... She says, oh my gosh. Yay. Make sure you go into um, the most recent Pampered Chef link. Uh, Catherine, go ahead and put a, a new one up um, for Susan or send it to her via private message. Either way, you can go in and um, pick out $40 worth of stuff for yourself. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And guys, we're gonna do more of this kind of a thing because uh, we love to bless you and give back to you for all that you're, you're giving to us too. Uh, everybody's saying congrats, Susan. And then Patty said, uh, all I can say is those will be much better than the peanut butter mayo mustard sandwiches. What? That sandwich was awesome. <laughs> Just kidding. Eden. Yeah. Let's call Tamara real quick. Okay. So we had talked to Tamara. We told her we were going to FaceTime her during today's live. And this is going to be the final thing that we do. And I'm going to let you guys all go to your breakfast and, and your mimosas. Um, but I just want to let her know um, what she's getting and what all we've been doing for her. Okay. And I know, I know she wants to say thank you to you guys also. This is a very, very humble... Um, and appreciative woman whom I love. You can bring the phone closer to you. No, closer to your body. You step away from no, me. <laughs> no, there. <laughs> there needs to be a break here. We'll see if she can pick up. She's at mm -hmm. work, so if she can't, it's totally fine. I'll just let her know and we'll videotape it. Okay, no, she can't right now. And that's totally fine. I'm going to videotape it and we'll send it then. All right, guys, listen. Any more questions or any more comments or anything else, I want to thank you so much for being a part of today's special brunch live. I know it was kind of on the early side. Go ahead. Heather said, what was Gavin's response to us trying his unique sandwich? He laughed absolutely hysterically. You couldn't believe people were actually trying it and sending pictures, too. And talked all about how much he just loved that sandwich. Not that he would eat it today. And I'm glad that you guys tried it because, you know, I thought about it in the past and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I said, no, can't do it. Is there anything else you want to say before you say bye? I don't think so. Take a look. These are all coming out nice. Show that little stack mm -hmm. right there. They're coming out beautiful. So I'll post a picture. Actually, no. 
Let me show them how you, how you uh, assemble this real quick. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Let's assemble some pancakes, strawberries, and sour cream. Ready? Take your pancake. And my sour cream's in the fridge, so I'll grab it. It's literally this simple. You take your pancake. You take a dollop of your sour cream. Again, this is to taste however much you want. And then you take your strawberries over the top. And I mean, I'm talking over the top is right. That's not the first time I've said that. <laughs> and you're gonna try it, right? Yes, I really want a piece of that sauce, that's two. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and try this. Let me get a fork. Let me get a forky. Okay, now I gotta try it. Oh, Lord. This and that drink. Ready? Mm -hmm. I know how much everybody loves to watch me eat. Mm. Memories on a plate. Also dessert on a plate. Dessert for breakfast. Also breakfast for lunch. Couldn't get any better than this. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Make that drink. Make this food. Have an amazing Sunday. And show me how it turns out in your kitchen. Thanks again, Love Bakers.